Hola, hola, como estas? Hello, hello, hello. Testing, testing. Everything good? Seems so. <laughs> well, well, well. Let's actually see where we're at with the poll. Okay, I think we're still on for the horror game. Let me just re... <laughs> we are. Okay, let's do that. Oh, a sad song. No, let's not do that. But yes, as we can see here on this beautiful screen. Oh yeah, I moved the chat. Why did I do that? Uh. Oh my god, that looks awful. Let me fix that. <laughs> oh yeah, I saw another stream and I wanted to, it to look like that, but let's move the chat over here where it's, where it's needed, where it's wanted. Hi Riley, how are you? Man, I've missed this. I really have. But yeah, as you can see, Garden of Bun Bun. As I was typing that into the Twitch thing for what game we're going to be playing, I noticed. Let me just do this. Probably paste it into the thing. Apparently, there's like a few of them. Um, like on, on um, Twitch, there was, yeah, a lot of them. Like seven. Are you kidding? So yeah. Survive the dreads that are reside below as you're not completely on your own. I have no idea what this game is. I have no idea what it's gonna do to me. And I'm terrified. Oh yeah, I was looking for free games before. But this is the screen. Like this is what we're gonna be looking at. Yeah, I'm great. I'm terrified to know that this is a horror game. I I don't play horror games, so... But everyone's be been begging me to play horror games. So I'm like, okay. They're all pretty short and each price increases. Wait, I thought I had down- What? I did download it. What do you mean? What? Okay, fine. We'll download it again. We'll see if that... I really thought I had to download it. What happened? Well, I'm guessing since it's short, but whatever. But yeah, this terrifies me. Like, I've been to the Steam, or the, the store page or whatever. And like, it's, it's really not descriptive. Let's not watch the video, but like... <laughs> to watch me waiting for Poppy Playtime. Yeah, I figured this was kind of like close. I figure we're gonna be dying a lot because that's what I do when we're at games. Enter Ban Ban's kindergarten and you're sure to make some friends. Explore the mysterious establishment and don't lose your life and sanity. Should we do this without music? Cause that's scarier, right? Uncover the horrifying truth behind the place. Be careful as you are far from alone. Great, sounds dope, yeah. Wait, paused. Don't pause. Oh, that was me. <laughs> that makes sense. And yes, I have Lego Fortnite. But not Fortnite. As long as it's Lego games, I can deal with it. No puppy playtime is better? It's the new FNAF? Really? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I don't think I have it, but I did have a friend that was like, you know what, you can play it off my account, it's fine. Okay, let's like, yeah, whatever, whatever. Let me lower the volume on Spotify to make it more spooky, I guess. Oh shit, what, what just happened to my PC? Okay, that just broke my PC. Oh lordy lord. There we go. Why does it break my other screen? <laughs> Oh, look at this. Why is it so big? 
Oh, this is fucking awful already. This is horrible. Horrible. Okay. Sure, great. Hi. What? Edmund? Hi, Edmund. Can I call you Edmund? I just like an D on the end, you know? Edmund. I don't know. Sounds cool. Yeah, I'm stalling, as you can see. Uh, very much stalling. I'm terrified. I don't know what I'm expecting. I know that there's like a big boy, but I don't know what the fuck to do, and I'm I'm not. I don't think there's hand holding. For a parent looking for the missing child, time is a delicate matter. Click the clock to advise time. To advance time. Okay. Can I click anything? I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm already scared. Is there gonna be a jump scare? Ah! Okay. Okay, we'll do it again. Ah! Woo! Hello. Okay. Doors open. Okay. Okay. Hi, Lux. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are here with me because I'm terrified. My friends call me Edmund Kemper. Oh my god. Fucking Ed Kemper. That's awful. Okay. You know what? Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. There's no thing jumping at me. It's cool. It's cool. <gasps> oh. Thank you. Thank you. It is hand holding. Look at this hand holding. Press E to interact with object. How fun. Look at these little pain things. Oh, why do I need to sprint? Oh, I don't like the look of that. Eat vegetables and fruits to become strong like me. Hello? Oh, vending machines. Can I get a snack? Having many arms allow me to help more people. Oh. Oh, can't make noises. They don't look great. Okay, maybe not. This is... Let me actually... Oop. Let me turn it up. Wait, volume? Is there a volume? Controls? Settings? There's no volume. Okay, great. I'll just heighten it on my eardrums so that I'll die. Oh. Okay. Cool. Can I can I put it in? Can I please? Ah. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I broke the chair. Can I break it? Can I get it over here? I like having the ambient horror sound in one ear and the idle music from the hell divers in the other. Yeah, I'm betting that's less terrifying. But, um... Oh, big red button! No, big red button! Come on, please! But I really want to! Can't put a button in front of me. Okay, I'm guessing I'm going this way, but I... Rather not. Big button. Can't wait for the stream to start. Oh yeah. My bad. I'll fix that. Sorry, sorry. Scroll on the settings menu. Oh, thank you. Oh wait, not music. Uh di there's dialogue. Do we want so I think I'll uh we'll see. Let me in, please. Well, hello there. Okay, nothing of danger. Cool. Hello? Can I talk? Hello? Hello? The remote requires two batteries. Dear mommy, I'm hiding in a room, but I have to fight the monster. It is only chance to make Claire like me. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So we're finding batteries. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> it's too quiet. Wait, where's the ba batteries? I feel like I've already, you know, checked. We're in the trash can. Do you have any batteries for me? No, you just have broken physics. Okay, great. Cool. Batteries? Can I open this door? I'm gonna get there's gonna be coming something out of there. Battery! And a battery! 
is going swimmingly. Hoxie always looking out for cat. That's my mod that. Okay. Are you like a follow type thing? Or uh... Press left mouse button to use your toy. Oh, you go where I tell you? Teleport the toy to the nearest... What? What? Okay, so you go there if I do that. But what about the teleport? Why, why would I need to teleport it? Wait, can I just teleport it here? Wait. I'm confused, but only, you know. Hard day's work. Can I just put you over here? Wait, what am I supposed to do with this? Can I get you to press the button? Press the button. Go! <gasps> that made a noise. No? Okay, press that button. I think I missed. Oh, trash can. You can press the button. Press the button, please. Hello there. Hi. Go. Get him. <laughs> no, that's not what I want. Please. I don't want to go. Okay, hi. Hello. Hi. Oh, okay. We're do playing hide and seek, huh? Naughty corner, the end is here. Yeah. What is this? It's another portal. Great. Yeah, we can go to the nether now. <laughs> Lovely. This is nice, though. Okay. I love this. Broken physics is my favorite. Wee. <laughs> Break everything. Break the game. <laughs> Wee. Okay. I'm stalling. I'm scared. Um... Is there jump scares? Are there gonna be jump scares? I'm guessing. Hello? I see. Stop. Stop. Please. Stop. Is that a claw? Go. Do I need to teleport you first? Are you gonna be confused? Yeah, there you go. Can you go here now? Is that a no? Okay, you're just dunk it in. Wait, naughty corner? Ah! Oh my! Fuck! God! You can't do that! Wait, do it again. I don't think it liked that. Mr. Bird, did you like that? Mate, look, I'm making noises. Yay! Ooga booga booga booga. I don't like Captain Fiddles. He looks like a pedo. Cat's inner child awakened. Not sure what you mean. Stop making noises. Okay, the button's like not interactable, I'm guessing. Or something. Oh! Oh my god, stop, chair. Stop, that scared me. Okay, chair. 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 Can you go get him? Drone boy. Oh my fuck, stop doing that. Can you get him, please? I don't know if that's like a yes or a... Okay, you can't, yeah, of course, of course you can't. It looks kind of like nice. I'm guessing it's not, but like it looks, it looks nice, happy. I'm, be I'm betting it's gonna come run at me. Ooh, slide. Can I go in it? Please? It does look kind of like it's gonna eat me. But then again, it does look fine. They can't do this to me. They can't put this and not expect me to go in it. Come on. Ah. Uh... Okay. Okay. Yep. Alright. Let's uh, face my fears, shall we? What well, hello there. You seem great. You have beautiful eyes. 
great eyes. Wait, are you just a doll? Are you not the thing? Oh, you're not. Oh, you're a mission. You look awful. I hate you. Oh, Billa bird is unbelievably hungry. Oh, let's get eggs. Cool, egg. I like this drone though. Oh, hydrate. Thank you, Sturming. How are you? Okay, all we've got to do is, it's like, um, what's it called? Gremlings, just don't look them in the eyes. You know, there's like rules and shit. Okay, two eggs. Wait, how many did we need? <gasps> Notes. Bring a friend these stickers. Peel slowly. Can I peel them? No? Okay, cool. You know what? It's not that scary. So far. I'm like, I'm more scared of the glass breaking than anything. So far. So, that's dandy. And this bird's a fake, so don't care. Wait, am I blind? Did I miss something? Oh, egg. I don't remember how many I have, but I'm guessing there's... <gasps> Secret? What does that do? Button? Wait, is there more eggs? I don't know how many I have. Do I have an inventory? Ball pit closed. Six eggs. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, love that. Wait, did you hit the target? This is like multitasking. Are you just confused? Yeah, you're confused. Okay, what about, let's get you like here? Come on, you can do a big boy. And then let's get you over there, press that button. And while I feed this bird, like, let's get some ult- Yep, let's get some ulti cat tasking in here. I already forgot. Find- find egg. What do you mean? There's no more eggs. Am I blind? Is there one in here? No? I think I might be blind. Press the button. Are you an egg? Oh, egg. Hello? Can I pick up the- Please? Please? Hello? I can't crouch, so this is kind of impossible. <gasps> Wait. Oh, there we go. Okay, I think that's the last one. That's good. I'm glad you're good. Was that not six? Has anybody counted? <gasps> egg! Cool. Oh, I went down the side and I didn't even get to see it. I'm guessing that's the last one. Destructive tool is needed to remove the planks. Did you just puke that up? God, that's gross. But at least you're not like moving. Wait, didn't I just get one? Fuck, I missed it. What did I just picked that up and now I can't. How do I use it? Wait, what? Wait, I gotta check the controls. Give command, blah, 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 interact, shift. So I don't have an inventory. But you just gave me something. Can I have it again? Is it broken? Did I break it? What about you? Can you just break it, please? I think I need some back seating. <laughs> um, drone, you good? Drone, okay. What? A there you go. I guess we could explore other ways. All right, come on, come on, buddy, let's go. It gave you a key card. Oh. For what stuff? Keep up. Oh no. Oh. Fuck you, table. Oh god. Okay, the tables don't like me either. This one, I'm guessing. Come on, drone. Where the fuck are you? Oh. Drone? I hear you. Oh, of course, you're stuck. And go! 
please. Please. You're oh. Yay! Door. Oh, it wasn't a claw. It's a hammer. Great. Distraction at one. What do you mean distraction at one? We have times. Hold up. What? What's the time? Is there a button? Is there a clock? Do I have times? Cool. Hello. <gasps> what do you mean jump? I'm not jumping. Why are we jumping? What was my color? I know that one's green. Laughter is the best medicine, so make sure to smile. Emergency stop? Can I? Okay. Oh, oh, key card. Hello? What happened? What did I do? Oh! <gasps> oh no! Is that a lift for me? Okay. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, that's a loud n Goodbye! Goodbye, bird! Drone, come the fuck here! Why is it so- Please. I need you, drone. Come here. Okay. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. Do I just jump off? Nah. Alright, cool. Cool, 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 cool. I don't know these two. Uh. Wait, how do I... Oh, I could just press it. No, drone, stop. Okay, good job. Purple, pink, blue... Green. Okay, he's green. That one's pink. I know that. Mm. I think that's the pedo, so I think he's purple. I'm not quite sure. Is that a purple? It's more of a blue, I'd say. Is there a purple? Okay, I guess that's as close as purple as what we're gonna get. I have no idea. I'm gonna say orange, but I'm really not sure about that one. Um, orange. Yeah, you can be orange. Ooh, I think one of you is red, and I'm guessing that's you, so I'm gonna keep you. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, all the others are taken, aren't they? Yeah. See? I'm being smart. What? Oh, I got them right. Cool. Love. Oh my. Stop doing that. Hi. Hi, I'm just gonna get this. Uh, I'm just. I wanna play with the whole. I'm alone. What? Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Everyone has party without me. Miss Mason, see me, but go. I'm scared because whole. It was loud and my friends. Scream, but bird is funny. Cool, thanks. Oh my fucking god. Oh, don't do that. No. Wait, what? Bird, hit him. No, 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 no. Is he pushing him towards me? Okay, I'm gonna make a run for it. Wait. Ah! Oh my fuck! No, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Okay, don't read the notes. Don't read the notes. Oh my fucking god. Okay, they can kill you. I got it. I thought this was a daycare. Okay. Press E to be- Okay, I don't know if I want to. Fuck my heart. My Apple Watch is telling me that I'm- <laughs> My heart beat too fast. No! Okay. Fuck off. Fuck off. Get the- get the elevator. Please. Please. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Why am I stuck? Can you please fuck the fuck off? Please? No. What do I do? 
I want the other lift. My guy. My my guy. What am I what am I supposed to do? Okay. Bye. Was this the bad one? That was not what I was supposed to do, right? You? Me? I? What? <laughs> what the fuck? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> if not, was a pizza. Yeah, that's a good point. Hi, Vigilandy. Cute places aren't always innocent. Maybe it's like me. I- I'm gonna need some fucking- Okay, wait. Jump- Like, I- I'm not understanding what it- What it wants me to do! I can't go over here! Bitch bird, what do you want? What do you want from me? Can I jump on the- The thing will he, when he leaves? No? What if I do this? Ah! Oh, get fucked, bird. Get fucked, bitch. No, 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 no. Press the button. Press the button. Press. Hi. No, 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 no. Press the button. Please, please. Are we cool? We're cool? Please. No, you're going the wrong way. You're going the fucking wrong way. What is with this music? Please go over. Oh, the drone's dumb. I think I've lagged out the game. I don't think he knows what to do. <laughs> Don't just please. Please. I'm begging you, just press the button. Please. Dunk that shit. You're not going the right way. No, 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 no. Hi. Will you push him? Yeah, dunk him. This is very loud. Okay, he does not care. Yeah. Um. Nope. Hi. Okay, I can't burn that. I can't burn that. No, no. Fuck. Okay, we'll try again. We'll try that again. <laughs> I'm guessing we're gonna... U-T? Wait, should I be spelling this out? U-T. Cutie? Are they trying to tell me that I'm cute? Cause like, obviously, but like, thanks. Okay. Hi, birdie. Wait, is this like a... I wanna play with the whole... Okay, you know what? Fuck that. No, maybe it's not a clue. I don't care. So, hi, how are you? Great to see- Ah, it's a bit too close, my guy. What if I press it, like, now? And then we'll, like, yeet. Hi, get off the bus. Bah. No, no, that's way too- Fuck you. Fuck you. What do you mean you'll get it eventually? I don't understand. I'm gonna need some backseating. Can I know- S? U T S U T S S What? What? Help Can I call a friend? Um What did I even get? Can I press these? Oh look, I can. That doesn't do shit for me. Like I understand that this button has any something to do with it, but like hi. Bitch boy, you wanna fucking go? Let's go! Bitch, I'm not scared of you. Can I press the- no, I can't press the button now, I just remembered! Okay, so I can- Okay, let's- What? Oh my god! I don't got this. What do you mean? We're gonna be here for hours. I don't know what this means. Should I be writing this down? Like on my phone or some shit? Cause like, there's a lot of letters. <laughs> Hoax is pinned no backseat game me. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna die here. Like, not even in the game, just in general. I'm gonna die here. Because I understand this. This is an invisible wall. I can't go here. Right. Understandable. Totally understand that. 
But the only way to elude him is to do this little fucking, you know, when he, when he gets off, like, 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 so. Cause like, fuck you, bitch. But I think that just lags him out. And I don't think I'm meant to do that. And now he doesn't want to, no. Stop moving. Yeah. That's incorrect. Stop moving. Like, I don't know how to get him to press. Like, my drone is broken and I don't know how to fix him. What? Stop doing that, you bitch. Please go the right way. Please, I'm... Just kill me. I... Kill me. This ain't... Who wants to be a millionaire? Wait, what do you mean? Are you telling me you're, you voted for that or like what? I'm confused. Like, I understand it. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to like press it. But like... I can't move back now. You can't call a buddy? Oh, that that's what you mean. Can I- what, what else are, is there? And uh, who wants to be a millionaire? Call a friend. Um, you can see an answer. Like, it's just gonna go back. Is my drone just dumb? Hi. Can I lag you out, like, indefinitely? Maybe that's the key here. Just like, okay, you can still move through that. Cool, good to know, good to know. Just lag out, please. No, it's inside you. Hi. Nice to see you here. Great. Uh -huh. Okay, I could do a little, like, scoot here. Do we believe in the scoot? I don't believe in the scoot. Scoot, motherfuck. No. Oh my god. No, no. Fuck me. This is hard. Okay, another hydrate. I'm gonna need it, dude. I'm gonna be here for hours. Wait, are they usually yellow? Was that a new thing? Is anyone writing this down? Because, like, I'm not remembering this. Is it telling me how to do, do it, like, slowly? Okay, we'll get the drone here. Drone, where the fuck? Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you. And then before we eat, we'll... Hi, stop staring at me. It's rude to stare. Didn't your mother teach you? Hot oh, damn. So, we'll get him to press the button. And then we'll run! So fast. No, I'm so bad. Stop, 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 stop. I hate it. I hate it so much. It's off. This stoop. Stop. No, I don't want to see your. Ooh. Well, cutscene. S. Stop rolling dices, my man. Please. I don't know what this means. Am I supposed to bounce on. Wait, what about the drone? Can I stand on the drone? 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 Wait, I can't, can I? <gasps> oh, fuck me! That scared me. Shit. <laughs> I wasn't prepared. <laughs> Wait, what is he spelling out? I've lost count so many times. Okay, let's be reincarnated. Let's figure this the fuck out. That one got you? Well, I'm happy that I'm not the only one in this. Okay, let's not, let's not stand too close. What if, like, I get him over there, and then I press here, so it'll be, like, perfectly tight. Hi, lovely. And then I'll press it, like, now. Then we'll go. And, like, not have him kill me. Oh! Get fucked, get fucked, get fucked, get fucked, get fucked, I'm too far away, I'm too far away! I see you, I'm not gonna look at you. Please drone your... Drone? Are you... Drone, you're kidding me, right? You're fucking kidding me! Hi, bird. Hi! Drone, do you wanna just... Hi! I love it! Oh my god! Stop! 
kill me it's fine it's gonna hi does that hurt your eyes no <laughs> you don't care yeah I don't know what that bouncing thing is can I get my Kev how are you I'm doing awful this is awful as you can see yeah this is awful I don't know what to do here I did see there was a line, like, through. Can I, like, make that happen? Like, I'm so confused. Like, I'm pretty sure it's just lagged out or some shit. Because I know that I'm supposed to, like... Wait a minute. Wait. I jump upwards. Not down. What happens if I press the button and then jump down? No? What is this game? Awful. This game is awful. That's literally all it is. Okay, John, you do your thing, and then I'm gonna jump, and then I'm gonna jump. <gasps> Wait! I saw it. I saw the thing. I hope that someone's like looking this thing up, like after every time I die, it's just saying a random letter. But this game is awfulness. Just pure awfulness. But now I understand, I think. You just gotta time it right. Which, to me, you know, that makes a whole lot more sense than trying to lag him the fuck out. But, you know. Hi. Dare me, bitch. Do it. Placey. Okay, never mind. I'm scared. Fuck, I did it too soon. Did I do it too soon? Did I do it too soon? Did I do it too soon? No, 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 fuck. I didn't know it keep- I didn't know it would keep going. Um, did something click? Yeah, it clicks every time I press the button. But like, that doesn't really... You know. Well, it, did, it does help me now, because now I know it, but... You have to time it so incredibly perfect. Which is insane, because this drone is... So slow. Hi, big boy. I can't believe it took me that many times to figure that the fuck out. But, you know what? I think this would be good. This timing. It is not. I fucked it up. Please. 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 Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Please. Ah! Ah! Is he fucking following me? Ah! No, 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 no! That was too fast. God damn it, this is hard. Okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. Now I've been told that this game isn't long. We've gone through two sections. This is the second... Second section. Which is fucking insane. Okay, bitch boy. Come on, just do your thing. Do your thing. First, I thought you would spent, like, sprint over there just to catch the other one. But, like, I, I'm clearly realizing that's not, like, the point. Okay, is that too late? No, please. Drone, you run. Too soon. It's too soon. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Please, 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 please. Oh, he's waiting. Oh, cool. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, guy. Thanks. You're so nice. Love you. Lo oh, you're stuck. Ha ha, get fucked. Oh, he's so cute when he's running. Okay, I'm just gonna yeet. Nah, I'm good. Is he gonna keep chasing me? No, I can't get out. I can't get no. Why is there an invisible wall there? Why is there an invisible wall there? What do you mean, sad face? What? Am I missing something? 
provided it perfectly. What do you mean? Uh, okay. Okay. Do I have to press, like... Do I have to press the buttons to the left? I'm really fucking confused. Okay, that should be good. That should be good. Come on. Perfectly timed? Maybe? <gasps> that is perfectly timed. Shit. Uh... Oh, he's fast one this time. He's a vi- Oh my god, he's so fast. Oh! Fuck! Me! I hate that man. Oh, he's not gonna be happy with me. Not gonna be... Were they- These there before? Uh... <laughs> Yeah, ball pit clothes my fucking ass, dude. Okay, Jerome, I'm gonna need you for moral support. You did miss something indeed. Wait, just now? Oh, he was red. Sharing is caring, what's mine? What's yours is mine. Oh, fuck, dude. I swear they put these shares in just to be like a nuisance and also a jump scare. Booga, 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 booga. And this one's gray. Kindness is free, so sprinkle it everywhere. Ban Belena. Okay. Don't have that key card. What's in here? Oh, hello. Anyone? Oh, cool. Just a room. Love it. Boarding pass. We're going to Madrid. Cool. Okay. I'm down. Uh, when are we going? Button. Cool, Leo. What do I do with the boarding pass? TV? No? Movable boxes? Are you movable? Come on, please wait. <clears throat> Yay! Okay, let's bring box over here. Moral support and all that. I'm guessing we're- Oh, it is him. I was gonna say. Okay, no bird in sight. We're cool. Is it, like, over here? Did I press that button? Come on, box. Let's go on an adventure. Don't know where I'm supposed to bring a boarding pass. I haven't seen anything about flight-related stuff. But, alright. No, press the button. I swear sometimes this game doesn't work. What? You literally just dunked into it. Is it telling me that that's, like, not available? Okay. Okay, Box, you stay here. Protect the area. Why are you talking? What? Okay, electricity on that one. Can I close this and go home? How did I get here? That doesn't look terrifying at all. Alright, great. Boarding pass. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Put in the trash? TV? Button? Move boxes? I'm a moving man now? Um. Hmm. Dead chicken, can you tell me what I'm supposed to do? I can't press these anymore. Mm hmm. Press this. Okay, nothing happened. Cool. Um. Where to press that? I think that was for the egg. What did we do in here? We pressed that, but I don't think anything happened. What happened with you? Go. Nope. Okay. Boarding pass in here. Like, I'm guessing... 
Like nothing happened on the computers. Did something move in there? Hello? No, that was me, right? I moved that chair. Yeah, totally. Okay, boarding pass. This was in here before. Yeah, it's not creepy at all. Am I, like, getting people over here? Please don't do that, please. Oh, that's horrible. Please don't attract people. Ah! Who are you? Oh, thanks. Thanks, guy. Thanks, that's so nice. Great. Love it. Yay. Such a lovely gift. What what gift can I give you? A knife to stab in the back? Or stab me in the back, even? I mean, I got a boarding pass. I can just get the fuck out, please. Boots. Can I get some boots for walking out of here? Alright, so I was just about to see that, and now what? Leave? I don't like it here. Can I press the button now? Okay, press the button. I thought this would be fun. I really did. I put this on the list thinking, you know what? That'll be fun. I'll, I'll be like laughing at it, you know? Because this is one of those games that looks super bad and it's just gonna be hilarious. There's no creatures all around. So I'm guessing I'm not, like, progressing. But, like, I'm really not... Can I get my drone to get in, like, fly in this and break it or something? <gasps> what did that do? Can you press the button now? I don't want to go check what that does. I really don't. Okay. Cool. Yay. And this lit up, so I'm guessing. Yeah. Why wouldn't it do this at a kindergarten? Drone, do you want to go check that out, maybe? Is that a no? Am I... What is this... Is it, like... No. 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 Uh-uh. No, I don't wanna. Do I... Do I have to? Yay. Okay. Great. Oh, I hate it. I hate it so much. It's way too loud as well. I'm gonna get so fucking terrified. Oh, fuck me. Oh, there's nothing in the back either. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna... Hello? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Where? What? No. Ah. No, 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 no. Hi. Oh, fuck off, fuck off. What do I do? Drone, 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 where's my- Drone, come here! Ah! Hello! Nice to see you! Oh, okay. Okay, I don't have to fight him. Well, I'm guessing we're gonna have to fight- Okay, I'm gonna have to fight him, probably. <gasps> Is my drone barking? That's all I care about. I can't see anything. Are we- did I die? Oh, that's it? Oh, thank god. I thought I'd have to fight him, like the other one. Okay. I wonder what it was trying to... Like, when you died, it was telling me, like, a bunch of letters? 
I'm really curious about that. Told you it was short? Yeah, but it's not like short as in like, you know, you'd get to see all the characters kind of short and that's it. You know? So I was totally expecting to see like one in every hallway or something. But damn, that was really short. We're definitely going to be playing more of that though. Like the second, the third, the fourth, the 27th, I don't care. Is it Doki time? I don't think I own Doki. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Um, holy shit, that is next on the list, actually. Let me just get rid of the Ban Ban, because that's obviously poof, gone. Only six more to go. Yeah. So about that, that's... You said that they're all really short. And they all increase in price. The franchise is a money scheme. Still pretty, like, they're fun games. Even if they're short. Not a rerun. Not a rerun. Not today. We are here. Or am I? Maybe this is just rerun, but, like, I'm answering your questions. Maybe I'm just in the future. Or from the future. Who knows? Um... Mm. I think I had Doki. I, oh wait, Doki Doki is free. No one told me. Alright, you know what? We're playing Doki Doki Literature Club because y'all fucking wanted it. I don't know why, but um, we're installing it. So, uh, and we can finally get back some of the music that's not spooky and we can breathe. Honestly, I really thought that was like kind of scary I'm not even lying like that was scary that game definitely recommend definitely recommend <laughs> not cap this is cat rerunning again yeah exactly that's what I'm telling you this will be used for rerun next time <laughs> amazing game wait which ones like this one or the other one? Okay. Not suitable for children. So children get the fuck out. Bitches. No, sorry. I shouldn't call children bitches. That, you know. Individuals suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a safe experience playing this game. Well, I have both. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. There isn't a gray button. By playing Doki Doki Literature Club, you agree that you are at least 13. I am. I am not 13. And you consent to your exposure of highly disturbing content. Sure. Why the fuck not? Cool. How many times do they have to tell me that it's not suitable? Like, I get it. Cool. <laughs> Text speed. Music volume. Um, wait, I was gonna do... There we go. Beautiful. New game. Please enter your name. Uh, let's do Cataholic. Because, um, you know, why not? That's a fun little name. Hey! Oh shit, I gotta do voices again. I hate doing... It's so confusing doing voices. Hey! I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and a good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. Does this fall under DMCA? Riley, that's an excellent question, and why you are considered for mod. Um, I have no idea. <laughs> but we used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, we would over she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. Aww. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. What? Rude. However, I just saw an idol in front of the crosswalk and let... Sayori catch up to me. <gasps> Wait, Hoax, did you fix it? Is I don't know if that's how you do that shit command. 
I don't think so. I think you might have done it wrong. <laughs> if, if Muffin were here, he, he could tell you. I'll fix it. Don't worry. Uh, let's just gotta fix the Doki Doki split. Wait, there's two of them? What's the plus one? I agree with Bo here. I don't pay you for this. But please, you know, get better. <laughs> Thank you, Riley. Um. Ah! Ah! I overslept again. See, we're doing all the annoying ones with, like, that voice. But I caught you this time. May maybe, but only because you decided to stop. Because I decided to stop and wait for you. He dared me, that means I can. That does not mean you can, Hoax. No, that's not how it works. It's GMC Afraid! Cool! So is RuneScape. Is that like your subtle attempt for me to play RuneScape? Or something? Yeah, you see like you were thinking about ignoring me. Ooh, ooh. That's me, Cataholic. I do fuck with that name now. It's growing on me. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Ooh, is, that, is this like our love interest? Fine. Fine. But you did wait for me is all. After all. Oh, we're getting a fucking hydration spam. Cool. Alright. Mm. <laughs> is this you're celebrating? Okay. Ruscape was mentioned with Doki Doki in a post. Oh, fair enough. But you're gonna have to count those. Mm. I guess you don't have it in you to be me, even if you want to. Are we like love interests? I'm guessing so. Okay, Strumming, you don't have to like join in on his, his shenanigans. Really? Okay. Am I gonna go have to get another bottle? Am I gonna <laughs> hoax? Hoax, you're supposed to be on my team. You're supposed to be on my side. Hoax, <laughs> no. And Lux has joined in. Great. You know what? I'll just keep like playing the game until y'all tell me how much that is. We're Zed when you need him. Holy shit, with that fucking bot. We need a bot to count all those. Siri, I'm serious. Someone get get on that. <laughs> Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> I don't know how to do. <laughs> like how do you, how do you he <laughs> he? Like I would get a haha, but like a he he, a he he, a he he. I don't know. Oh shit! Do I have to count theirs? Yep, but you have to count everyone's. I'm a bot. Yep, bot bot Eric, fix it. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students, making their daily commute. By the way, Cataholic, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not- fuck, I'm messing up the voice already. I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Dude, I don't seem to like this woman. Why do I, why do I spend time with her? So you likes to worry like, a little bit too much about me when I'm perfectly content just by getting on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Ugh. Well, games is fun, but I don't like anime personally. That's just me. You can have your own opinions. I'm just saying. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have it. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. What the fuck? Socialize or have any skills before college. That's a dig. Alright, wait, I gotta catch up with 
1975 milliliters. <sighs> so I gotta go get the water. Wait. I've got containers at 650 mil. Wait, what's 650 plus 650? Someone do the do the math. Go. She says playing an anime game. <laughs> oh god. Mmm. Are you getting the car tomorrow? That's amazing. I was in a car today. I, I usually am not in cars because I don't own a car, but I was in a car today. And it had, um, like, instead of a roof, it had, like, a, a window on the roof. Amazing. So cool. Definitely recommend if you're getting a car. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? And I know you're happy now, but I thought, thought of you becoming a, a neat... What the fuck is a neat? A neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Sunroof. Yeah, but you can open it. It's just like a window. A window to the soul or something. Don't make me keep worrying about you. I guess that's cute. Alright, alright. I'm guessing I'm a love interest, but like, it feels more like besties. I had to swap for my other monitor. <laughs> Wait, first relaxing? <laughs> Congrats. No employment, education, something, something. Wait, what? It's so nice being in a car, right? Even better, being behind the wheel. I don't personally think so. That means I can't drink. Because drinking and driving? Eh. I'm not into it, personally. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Can I get to pick? I want to be on the basketball team. Just because I'm, I'll be the shortest one there. And I'll, like, fucking pounce on those bitches like, Hey, fuck you, you know? And I'll just fight them. I don't remember what... Like, I've seen this game, and I've heard about this game. But I really don't know what it's all about. So, like, yeah. I have no idea. That's what neat means. AT meant training. No employment, education, something, something. Oh. Okay. Will you at least, will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. That's not a real promise, but okay. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? Wait, I gotta get on these hydrations though. Um, I'm gonna ask for some assistance. Thank you so much, Meowie. But yeah, as, I, as I'm saying, I'm gonna try and get the water, you know, brought to me because I'm lazy. And also streaming and uh, secondly okay it'll be in a bit I guess <laughs> not in education employment or training neat sounds neat you could just be uh, what do you call that a person of the world wait sorry I closed it I don't know why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I don't know what that means. Guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside her head. Okay, that's nice. Hi Meowie, how are you? The school day is as ordinary as ever and it's over before I know it. Cool. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. I'm guessing there's a new person coming in. Clubs. So Yuri wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello! So Yuri? So Yuri must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. 
I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Okay, that's oddly specific, but sure. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You need to wait up for me if it's gonna make you late to your own club. Wait, is it club time? Do I get to pick? Well, I thought you, well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. Know what? Well, that you can come to my club. I don't think I want to, but okay. Yeah. There's no way I'm going to your club. <laughs> Is that correct? Like, <laughs> meanie. So you're his vice president of the literature club. I'm guessing I'm ha I have to join that probably. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Fair enough. I mean... Oh, thank you, Maui. Now I know exactly how to pronounce that. That That's what you're saying, right? You gotta do the each one of the H's in there. Uh, since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title title vice president cool that said my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less <laughs> great cool yeah I'm going to the anime club come on please why do you care so much anyway well thank you I'm trying to make her as an, an annoying as per like as possible because she seems annoying to me there's always like annoying people in these Dating games, I've only done two, but still. <gasps> Boat! Which one? Was it the one I... Which one? I'm really... I'm really excited. Do you want to link it? You can link it in the links and searches. You could definitely self-promote on there. Um, I'm thinking we're going to do a self-promotion thing in the Discord as well. Just for people who want to... I don't know, mark it, I guess. I'm all for it, honestly. <laughs> yeah, you can't send it in the chat like right now though. Like links don't work here. It's too goofy to share. I will find your account and release it to the public if you do not. <laughs> See, I agree with hoax. Anyway, let's get back to this, shall we? I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. Now it's it's kind of going like in a Kardashian kind of way right now. And that Suki made cupcakes and everything. You know, it's kind of giving like Courtney or whatever the the small one. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Suri is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. I let out a long sigh. Let's do that. Fine, I'll stop for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go. The airhead, I hope there's more airheads, because like, they're fun to do. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Hot oh, damn. That's <laughs> not good. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Wait, what am I? Am I third year? Am I second year? Third year? Whatever. Sayori, full of energy, swings up in the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you don't call me a new member. Eh? Oh, I glance around the room. It's a room. It's not very... Yep, there's chairs. Cool. Well, we got the fucking... Okay, I'm rocking with her hair. I'm rocking with the eyes. Cool. I like it. Love it. Long hair. Pretty. I'm fucking with it. Since I know it's a dating game, I'm not usually into women, but like... I might, you know, for now I'm swinging that way. I might have posted it just because I'm goofy like that. I love it. 
Uh, okay, let's do a voice. Uh, the... Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. No, it's a... How do I do an emo? <laughs> she, she looks pretty emo. Welcome to the literature club. She just sounds like she's like, you know, answering phones all day. It's a pleasure meeting you. You know, she's just, she gotta be bored. You know, she's bored all the time. So Yoriyama says nice things about you. Oh fuck, there's more. Seriously, you brought a bully. See, we're doing her high. Way to kill, wait, who was which? Which one was which? Way to kill the atmosphere. Why does there have to be so many? I don't know. You're hitting on anime girls, I'm disappointed. You would be too in my situation. Ah, Cataholic, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. Oh, she's pretty though, I like her. I like her little bow, I, I like her vibe going on. She seems nice. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Wow. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Sar- Sisasari. Natsuki. Hmm. <laughs> the girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't, re don't recognize. I don't know what's going on, like, over here with her little... What the fuck is that? Why does she have an X there? I, I'm so confused by the... No! What? No! Huh. Huh. Scared myself a bit there. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. What am I? Am I a first year? She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Siori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. It's a hair clip? That doesn't look like a hair clip. I've seen hair clips in my day and I'm betting that's not a hair clip. That just looks weird to me. Sayori says that quietly into my ear and then turns back towards the other girls. Anyways, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't, don't say a thing. Fuck, I forgot. Wait, she was bored. Don't say things like that. Yuri here is comparably more mature and timid. Seems to have a hard time keeping up with the people like Siri and Natsuki. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. I'm a very nice person. And it sounds like, and it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? Okay, that's my favorite. Monica can get it any fucking day, my guy. That's right. It's great to see you again, Cataholic. Oh, look at her, she's so cute. I love her. She's a girly. She's one of the girls. Love. We do know each other, but we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Oh, we got some history, my guy. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class, smart, beautiful, athletic, basically completely out of my league. No, no way. It's the opposite, actually. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... You too, Monica. Hey, hey, Monica. Hey, today, Mon... Sorry. Uh, <laughs> that's, um... Well, everyone's probably heard it through, uh... What's his face? PewDiePie. Come sit down, Cataholic. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. <gasps> Do I get to pick? I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them, so I'll go get them. Sorry, I get a little too excited. Then how about I make you some tea as well? Dude, everyone is like into me. Are you kidding? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Cute. As the Yuri mentioned, it's been widened so that there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. I swear they look the same. But you can't say that about people. <laughs> Is that racist towards like anime people? <laughs> I don't know. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. 
Wait, why the closet? <laughs> Still feeling awkward. I take a seat next. No, I don't want to. I want to sit back to the Monica, my girl. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta da! Ooh, ah, ah. I don't. Yep. Okay, that's what we're going with. Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white, fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Adorable. But do I want a baker? Nah. I want the pretty one. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> Why well, you know? I already forgot her voice, not gonna lie. Just hurry and take one. So you're gonna grab some first, then Monica, I follow. Xavier is surprisingly good at making anime voices. Oh god. Wait, ma manly ones or women ones? Because they're very different. It's hugely different. But I'd totally bring him in here to just to do the voiceovers. You know what? Maybe we'll do it like in uh, editing. Uh, probably something with the school outfit. Oh, probably. Uh, he's got a point. Good night, Riley. Sleep tight. Good night. Women, of course. Damn, I didn't know that. It's del it's delicious. Sawyer talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around on my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki's quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? <laughs> I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything? Uh, I thought she did. So Yuri said... Well, maybe. But not for you, you know, dummy. It's definitely spiked. <laughs> the fucking cupcake. She spiked the cupcake. Are they trying to kill me? I knew this game is dark, but like, are they actually trying to kill me? Alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Is this where it starts to turn and I just die? Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places the teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole set tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Huh, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, that, that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. Everything is spiked? Wait, really? Is that true? I meant that, you know... I believe you. <gasps> the water has arrived. But that's only one liter. Oh god, we gotta get started on the one liter. Holy fuck, wait. Give me a second. How much were we uh, content on drinking? Because this is ice cold. Holy feck. Alright, we'll get started anyway. I believe you. I don't. Well, tea and reading might not be pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. You better not slack with the drinking. Okay, sorry. How am I supposed to do reading if I, can't, if I gotta fucking drink all the time? One non? No, I know, I know. But this bottle only contains one liter, I think. <laughs> 
There you go, two liters. Okay, we'll just do two of those. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. I'll take a drink after every single, like, not sentence, but one of these, like, chat boxes thingies. And that way, we'll get it done. I promise. Oh, God, I hate this. <laughs> this is gonna be so much water. <laughs> Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. I don't like this kind of action. She seems like she's trying to tell me shit, but who knows. So, what made you consider a literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica, Monica that I was practically dragged here. Oh shit, I forgot to drink. Mm. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and so you already seemed really happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it is my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club yes last year? <laughs> well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd rather much take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. I don't know why she's going southern, but let's just roll with it and see where it goes. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Oh, are they holding hands? Cute. Okay, maybe they, they've got like a fling going on. Is that what's going on here? Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting all the effort to start something brand new. Especially with something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Yay! Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it! I like how she's just becoming a Pokemon person. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. So these are my options, I'm guessing, for dating. I mean, I'm torn between like this one and this one. But like, that's me, personally. I'm not like really into the annoying ones. They seem annoying. I'm sorry if y'all like them, but I fuck with these two. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. To freak me. <laughs> no? No, is that not the goal? Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they're all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though, I still don't know, really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Cataholic, what kind of things do you like to read? Do I get to write? No? Considering how little I've read this, these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head. Oh, we have things in common. Cool. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. Nah, don't change for people. Don't do it. Mm. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyways, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. Oh, cute. Trying to flirt. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The lever of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. <gasps> Wait, does she mean like... 
Lord of the Rings. Oh, she's getting, she's getting better and better. <laughs> Ooh, sexy. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can be so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination and completely throw you for a loop? Anyways, I've been re reading a lot of horror lately. <laughs> okay. Oh, I read a horror book once. <laughs> I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. That's me in an elevator every fucking time. At this rate, you might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Oh god. Really? I wouldn't have respected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. So real horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh! I hate horror! Oh, what is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Why are you looking at me, girl? I mean, you'd think that this is the one I'm kind of into, but like, I like her eyes, but nothing more. I don't fuck with this little signature here. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind your last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! I get that back! Fine. Fine. Oh, time to go again. <laughs> Your cupcakes. Your poems. That was a uh, Goofy. I don't know if anyone caught that, but that was a uh, Goofy. No, wait. It's not Goofy. Is it Goofy who sounds like that? Mm. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sayori so sidle sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hand on her shoulders. I'm not cute. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I do sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No. Natsuki ever tries. You would like them! Ah, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how yet Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. I forgot her voice. Shit. Uh, do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. I like how she's just SpongeBob at this point. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Aunt Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Even Stevens, big boys. Um. Yeah, let's do it. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Cataholic? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. 
Eh, what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I've bluntly come forth with, with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. So you may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, I lose my train of thought. They're all just fucking staring. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. Okay, now it's getting creepy. Please. Um, but I'm sorry. I thought. Hmm. Cat all. You all, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. So I don't even get to choose. Is there no choices in this? One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy. Sawyer wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey. You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would have been super pissed. That was the wrong voice, but we're rolling with the punches. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Cataholic, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. This is deep flirting. This is not just flirting, this is flirting with a big F. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star, Monica, with my meteor mediocre writing skills? Probably not. I already feel the anxiety welling up inside of me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Cataholic, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? No. That's right, Sayuri and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mo mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Saving the best for last. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Eh. Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. I'm not really understanding, like, what's so special about this one. But, I mean, maybe that'll come later? I don't know. Like, it seems just like a normal dating game. I don't know. Doesn't seem very dark. They haven't poisoned me. They haven't done anything to me. But I'm guessing that's coming, maybe? I'll just need to make sure the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Oh. Oh my god. Okay. It's time to write a poem. I get to play. Pick words that you think you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. How do I know? Wait, where's mine? Mine's not even here. Uh, sh fuck. Um, I want to say marriage. Cause like she seems the most marriageable. Grief is definitely her. Skipping is probably one of these. Essence, her. My. Fuck, I already forgot what everyone- Unrestrained? That seems like a bit... Unrestrained? What? Flee? Okay, is it getting dark already? Hi, Tri- Tremorklina. Am I saying that right? I'm sorry if I'm not. Cheer is definitely like her. 
Or, yeah, her. I'm gonna go with marriage. Fuck, no, I don't want her. You know what, I don't like these, and I'm guessing I can only get these three, so I'm gonna do the fucking horrible ones. Intellectual, okay. We're gonna get her. Uh, shame? No. That's shame, right? What's entropy? Calm? I wonder which one's beauty. I'm kind of curious. I'm guessing that one's music. No! Come on! Disown! <laughs> Disarray? Wrath? Papa? What the fuck? I mean, disowned is probably them, but like, disarray? Okay, good, good, good. Skirt? Everyone has a skirt. What do you mean? Despise, judgment, special, electricity, sparkle, clumsy, cloud, atone. Atone? Yep, obviously, obviously. Depression. What? What? No, 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 no. That was so obvious, her. What do you mean? Uh, I don't know here. Cage? Embrace? No one of them hugged me, I don't think. Um, portrait? Portrait or ca cage? I'm gonna go with cage. Yep, okay, good. Melancholy, I'm guessing that's her. She's ribbon. Kiss, forgive, incapable, <laughs> incapable. <laughs> Imagine having someone describe you as incapable. <laughs> I'm gonna go with ooh, pain, graveyard, and melancholy. I mean, she gives off the melancholy kind of vibe. Okay, good. Tragedy, sadness, childhood, milk, boop, cli climax. It's a bit weird to put in there. Sadness? I guess all of them could be sad, but like fear, probably, because whole. But she liked horror! What do you mean? <laughs> doki Doki? Oh. I don't know what Doki Doki means. Anxiety? Probably all of them. Pure promise. Uncontrollable. Feather. Eh. I don't know at this point. I'm just picking random ones. Aura? Contamination? That sounds fun. Okay, good. That's her. I'm gonna get her as much as I can, but the ones I'm not, like, really sure, I'm just fucking with it. Tears? God damn it. Cry, melody, rainbow, anger. Hi. <laughs> yeah, great game. <laughs> okay, horror, that's it. Thank God. Five more. I think we're, we should get good on her. Alone? How is that? I hate her. Stop doing it. Okay, I, um, they're really weird, like, what is Climax and Suicide doing with Puppy and Treasure? Like, what do you mean? <laughs> Misery? Stop, 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 I don't, she seems deep, deep and dark? No, come on, how do I get her hurt? Lipstick? I don't know who has lipstick. Hair? She has the longest and the most hair. Can anyone explain how this fucking works? Scars. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Analysis? Okay, good. Good. She seems deep. She's deep. What do deep people like? Journey. Games. I think one of them played games, so I don't want to pick games. Uh, Daydream. No, that's probably the one that was daydreaming. Unstable. Yes. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Hi again, Cataholic. Glad to see you didn't run away from us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. True that. Well, I'm back at the literature club. Amazing. I wonder why they have like these because like this kind of flooring that's what we have on balconies here so i don't know what the fuck's going on with that but it's kind of weird i was the last to come in so everyone else is already hanging out thanks for keeping your promise cataholic 
I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on, like he deserves any slack. So you already told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. Unless you're two. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take it seriously, then you don't get to see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps their manga collection in the club room. Me, me, me. Mm, I don't know what she's trying to say, but Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Aww. Manga is literature. I mean, my character likes it too, so. The floor looks stealable. <laughs> it does, kind of, yeah. I, I totally agree with that, yeah. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops her packs, plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Catholic always gives it his his best shot. Wait, I'm a guy. I'm a guy. But I'm not a guy. I don't get to pick. His best as long as he's having fun. I guess they just uh, remade me into a, like. They decided my pronouns? Sure, I guess. Yep. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Okay, I gotta get in my boy mindset. Like, I'm a boy. What do I like? Boobs. But. Does that change who I like? I don't think it does. Nah. Nah, I like the ones I like. I like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sayori, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. We've all been there. Come on, let's be honest. Who says so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. Who says that out loud, though? What? How come? You and Catholic can become good friends, too. Um... Oh, look, she blushing. Sayori... Hmm? As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she, she just put me into. Oh, oh, you even brought you something today, you know? Wait, wait, Sayori... Just take a piece of that floor and put it in your backpack. Yeah, just take one every day. And that way, like, you can take this one on Friday, this one on Monday. You know, just keep going. And then at the end of the school year, you'll have an entire floor. You know? For free. Now that is stonks. Uh, me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's it's really nothing. What is it? Never mind. So you made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Oh fuck, that was the wrong one. Uh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. Man, did she make her poem about me or some shit? Because that's like really cute. I can't have shit in Japan. <laughs> I've never been, personally. So, any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy, no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. That's nice. I seem like a nice person. Alright. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. Wink, wink. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like despite me not reading much. Ah, I've been once, but it was like five years ago. 
What did you do there? Like, why? Just for fun? Just for fun or like traveling or like for work or what? Here, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. I don't know how to make that sound, so I'm not even going to attempt it. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick off, some, kick off some scheduled activities for the club. So I'm guessing I can't date Monica, considering that I couldn't pick her before. But like, why not? Can I date her later? Can I date her never? Like, what's up? Am I not gonna get any like attempts or hints at this game or like, what's up? <laughs> no one seems to want to spoil anything, so I'm scared. Did she get to the twerk off part yet? What? Also, hi, Worf, but. Wait, is that a thing? I guess this was made in the twerk era, but like. Really? Alright, well. Is that just what it is? Is it like a lot of butts and a lot of boob boobies? Anime boobies? But that doesn't seem to be the case. Oh, that's fair. I've heard a lot of good things about Japan, but then I've also heard a lot of bad things about Japan, so... I don't know. I'd like to go, but at the same time, being a woman there is supposedly not great. Or so I've heard, anyway. It's the true ending, trust? Well, I don't know what the ending is. Uh, no one told me anything about this game. They just said play it, pretty much. So... And I've seen a bit about it, like like way ages ago when it like came out or something or people was hyped about it but I, I never actually like knew what happened so I'm kind of confused so Yuri and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner Yuri's face is already buried in a book I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance it depends on where you go in Japan I guess makes sense but I heard that like traveling is a big no-no as well, uh, just because, well, a lot of creeps, I guess. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Wait, why? <laughs> Wait, why did it change screens? <laughs> like literally, nothing happened. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a bit more, but at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. Do I get to pick? I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book that she lent to me. Aww. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Oh, music change. Okay, I like this. Ah, crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me and her eyes meet for a split second. Adorable. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in a book. Sorry, I was just spacing out. I mutter this sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... That's the book you gave me, right? Mm-hmm. I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Oh, she is. I'm so in, boys. I'm so in. Just curious, how come you have two copies of the same book? Yeah, that's a fairly good question. Ah, well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday... Ah, uh, that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. I see. I'm so in. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decide to let that go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have ha you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's it about anyway? Well, hmm. Gary closes the books and scans her eyes over the back. Wait, she doesn't even know. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There is an ominous-looking eye symbol on the front cover. 
Alright. I just wanted to make sure I didn't accidentally give anything away. Basically about this girl in high school who moves in with her lost, lo long lost younger sister. But as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escaped from a human experiment prison. Okay. Are we gonna like live in the book realm or something? Is that what's gonna like make it crazy? Because everyone's telling me it's going to go crazy, but you got game and she <laughs> she definitely fell for me. And while, while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationship and her life starts to fall apart. That sounds awful though. Like, well, maybe not for a book, I guess. That's kind of, that's kind of dark, isn't it? <laughs> You made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. Well, dark shit can be good. I mean, you know. Any fucking fantasy shit ever. Come on. <laughs> Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Cataholic? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely join these kind of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri's into these things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that these kind of stories, they challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants it wants to be evil. Wait, when horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil. Oh, okay. But because they have their own goals, or their own philosophy that they believe in. Then suddenly, when you thought you related to the protagonist, there may not to be the naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. So... Frankenstein? Right? I'm... I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest, or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then, but I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. Freaking me? Is that the problem? Or wanting to? When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. Oh, that's not a good trait though. That's a terrible trait. Is that like a red flag? I think that's a red flag for me. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That, that's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. Eh, the least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Ah. Uh, that's... Well, that's true. In, in fact... I might as well get started reading it, shouldn't I? You, you don't have to. What are you saying? Just a moment ago you said you were looking forward to it. Yeah, she's changing her mind quickly. Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I put into my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? Ooh, am I sitting closer? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. I mean, they're kind of far from each other, but I'm guessing we're like scooting over or something. Ah, uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... Who's this direct, by the way? Like, you, you seem a bit apprehensive. Who says that? I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Alright. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. Kinda weird. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. I don't know what y'all are talking about. This is a nice game. Like, it's nice for being a dating game, I mean. Yuri's in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. Ooh, she's looking at me? I glance over. 
It looks like she's reading from my book. That's kind of weird. Sorry. I was just... You really apologize a lot, don't you? I do. I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk and until it's up against Yuri's and hold my book more between the two of them. I've got game. I really have got game. Ah, <sighs> I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we lean in a bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. Ah, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Here. <gasps> New pictures! Amazing! Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and her forefinger. Is that the pointy finger where you point to, to stuff? Ah. I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. Aw, oh, that's cute. Sorry, I gotta keep drinking. That way, I turn a page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. Oh, it's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Huh? To turn the page. Oh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again and her eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, uh, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a, li a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. Wait, was she smiling at me before? Oh, well, that's kind of creepy though, I don't like it. Since you've been so patient with me. Yeah, thanks. Okay, now she's not looking at me anymore. I don't know what that changes. It's fucking creepy. <laughs> we continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continued the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Damn, every fucking thing in these games are literally like a poem. Like, this, just this right here. Instead of saying, like, it's so weird. Why do they word it like this? <laughs> hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. You think so? How does she? Oh, she's looking at me again. Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways, but she also second guesses all of the things she says and does. Like she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see into your head or anything, but they're kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. I see. That's nice. I mean, maybe. Depends. You remain silent. I just realized it almost looks like a... Cathart- no, maybe not. Catholic, but it's not. But Catholic, that's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. Oh, that's so embarrassing that you think that- Wait! I didn't mean in a bad way or anything. Sorry, I really didn't know you were self-conscious about that sort of thing. I guess that more meant that it's kind of cute. Ah. Why, what are you saying all of a sudden? I, okay everyone. I think it's about time we share today's poems with each other. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Ah. Yuri exhales, spared from finishing her thought. 
Is that all right, Yuri? You look kind of down. I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. Uh, it's not. It's fine. Yuri releases her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. Ow. All right. I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Or would you prefer I only read it with you? Holy shit, dude. This game is crazy. Um, I guess I don't have too much of a preference either way. Mm. In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. It'll be more fun to read with you after it picks up a bit, you know? That's good reasoning. In that case, feel free to finish the first chapters in your own time. Alright. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. Our relaxation ends. <laughs> I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never, never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull up the poems. Sayori's on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. This game got me kicking my feet and shit! It's the music. It's so the music. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a com composition notebook. I don't know what any of these mean. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. What's a pristine handwriting? Like, what do you mean? Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same, myself. Oh, I get to pick. <gasps> I'm going with Monica. She my bitch now. Well, I'm her bitch, but who cares? I should start with Monica. She's the one. The one, the only. Yesterday she seems eager, seemed eager to read my poem and I want her to know I'm putting in the effort. Oh wait, she's not gonna like it because I picked the words for the purple haired? The ender, ender girl? Hi Cataholic, having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring, bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. Yeah, of course. Because how would I just talk to people? Crazy. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Okay, understandable. Anyway, wanna share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Cataholic. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? I like the little stance she does. I don't know. It's fun. It's like a little, uh, what's her face? The blonde one? Uh, Marilyn Monroe? But it says what a barrier we all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Can I get- do I get to read my poem? Mm-hmm. Great job, Cataholic. I was going, ooh, in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easy. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way it always counts when I put in some effort. Aw. <laughs> That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Wait, so she's like my wingman? Is that the thing here? Writing that... Writing that's full of imaginary... Imaginary... Imagery, as simple as that. Unlike Sayori, who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness. Yuri likes it when readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write that like that effectively. 
both allowing people to get something out of it just by feel, or letting them deeply analyze all of the nuances. It can take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point. So Yuri is like the talented one. The other ones are the annoying ones. And Monica is like my old crush. Slash to kind of, I don't know, the one. I never really asked though. I'm sure I'm, I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry so much about that. You do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learn by trying new things. With you? Maybe? With you? I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. Y'all know what I mean. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. Like what? That seems weirdly specific. Like, not specific, but also specific. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Oh, we're still talking about literature? Right, right, sorry. Uh, everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kinds of styles, but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Ahaha. <laughs> uh Ahaha. -huh. Anyways, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because they have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? See, she's got some depth. Maybe not much, but you know. I married Haley in Stardew Valley, so, you know. I gotta think for the slash dumb ones slash like pretty ones, I guess. I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See, the direction the spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor. An angry boyfriend. I'll never know. It wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel. Blind. Like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My rest of us already scorned with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. I don't understand. What does that mean? Is she saying that like she had an angry boyfriend and then... She peeked into, like, her neighbor. And then... Uh, I'm not really good with, like, deep shit like that. I don't know what that means, but... I'm guessing she had a bad childhood, probably? Maybe? I don't know. So, what do you think? It's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. She seems so disappointed. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. God. That poem is Axe? Oh, really? Isn't it like just super deep and I don't get it? Like, how do you know? I don't really get poems. I'm gonna be honest. Like, I, I know that that's not relevant. Like, Relatable, but I fucking don't get him. D1 hater here? Wait, D1? Do you hate Monica? When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah, well, I'm not sure how to put, put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany re recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone's better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. <laughs> Why am I going to get these every day? Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, 
then you'll never make any progress. This is great for like kids who like study and they're like, this is actually pretty good advice. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy up later. This is great. This is great advice. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. True. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Look, she's so happy about it. I like her. Thanks for listening. She did a little TED talk just for me. Wait, I gotta show it to everyone? Okay, you know what? We're going with... I can't tell the difference between these yet, so we're going with this one. As Yuri reads the poem, I notice your eyes lighten. Exceptional. What was that? Did, did I say that out loud? Yuri first covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole face. I... Uh... He's going to hate me. Um... You really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Eh... That... that's... I guess you're right. Why am I getting so nervous for? Ahaha, 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 ahaha. Yuri takes a breath. So, what kind of exper writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery and metaphors indicate you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? Wow, that's a huge compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time. Ooh, my first time? Went quick at what? <laughs> Are you just a poem hater? <laughs> I don't know, I didn't get it, so... I'll hate on it too, for, you know, we'll be haters of it together. Mm. I'm gonna pour up some water, otherwise my throat will get all fucking, you know, used up. Oh, that sounds really bad. But I mean talking, I really do. Fucking hell. This is getting crazy. Uh, huh. Yuri stands at me blankly and then words look at my poem again. Well, I know that. I just meant, um... Yuri trades off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her finger along the words in the poem, as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah. Okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most notable, noticeable thing in, I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick up- Oh god, dude. I'm sorry, but like, she's, she's talking way too much about this. I do not do not care. Just frick me or like move on. Let, let's just- Come on. We're dating here. We're not- Talking about words <laughs> and literature. Why did I join this club again? In other words, they tend to pick up writing styles separate from the topic matter and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her trains, train of thought as if her- as if- see I'm messing this up because like she got some big words in there. It's as if she- her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Cool. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Drinking. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased, though. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Me neither, man. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thoughts, thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamy, dreamily, 
as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Oh god, okay, she's got some cool ass fucking handwriting though. That looks fucking dope, that looks like a wizard. Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. Excuse me. Uh, the last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. What does that say? Calm? Is that just calm? Or is that calm? Okay, wait. Calm, breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. Okay, Edmund, what do we th what do we think about this one? Do we like it? Is that a good one? Bad one? I'm sorry I have such terrible handwriting. Nah, that one's the coolest, dude. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to re- I actually did though. <laughs> How do you know that? Why well, just don't read scripts very often? I actually think your handwriting's pretty. I do. Eh? Uh, that's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. Hating? Yeah, okay. Fair. It wasn't too short. I, like, it's about a fucking lamppost. That handwriting is ass too. You're just a hater. That was a cool ass handwriting. What do you mean? I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little bit more mild. Oh god, is she gonna be the... The really bad one that goes like really crazy? Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Hoo <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about ghosts at all, Cataholic. Really? No, it's about a lamp. Well, I suppose you only did glance over after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in a last the remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. It's too extra? I like extra though, it looked like a wizard was writing it, you know? And soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. Eh? It's nothing really. Yours was impressive too, so... Nah. If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. You think so? Yeah, of course. Ah. <sighs> Edmund a hater for sure. <laughs> Edmund, what do you like? Tell me one thing you like instead of hate. Or love, even. You know, I was really nervous about doing all this. But in the end, I enjoyed it. Aww, you love Lux? Me too, man. Who doesn't? Come on. Very lovable. <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing my best for you, Cataholic. They love to hate. No! You can't say that now. And I don't have to compliment. Me too. Who should I show up my pot? Okay, I think so you were is the neighbor. Or not neighbor, but like the other one. Yeah, okay. This is a very good poem, Catholic. Are you sure it's your first time? Of course. It's not. It's not that good. Am I the kind of guy who will be writing poems in his spare time? <laughs> I guess you're right. But that's why it's impre it impressed me. Well, to be honest... I was afraid that you didn't wouldn't take it seriously. Or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy just that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you really are a part of the club now. 
Not to mention the fact that I'm standing right in front of you in the club room. Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Cataholic. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people. That's something that only good people do. Thanks, Suyori. I'm not sure if Suyori sees the full picture of my motive here. To get laid. Then again. I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. That's cute though. I want us to be like really good friends. Can we be that? Yeah. And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. For what? Like, what What did I do? Alright, I'm gonna hold you to that th then. Yay! Now you read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed. Making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Why does she sound like, sound like sounding like a 12 year old? Like what? Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? <gasps> Her rhymes though. I like that. I love rhyming. I look above. The sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Why is she actually 12? That's... That's not consensual. Nope. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Sayori, this is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No. Just a little bit. Can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Ah, uh, yes. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It was, though. But it did rhyme, so I'll give her a lot of points for that. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school. It's bad to skip breakfast. Oh, I do not like this. I do not like it at all. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyways, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Ah, uh, yeah. But next time I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Yeah, who should I really do it next? This is the annoying one that I don't like. Get prepared for the fucking highest voice ever. Yeah, like if you're not gonna take this club seriously, then go home. What? Harsh? Wait, you expect me to believe that you actually put effort into this? Do you think I'm stupid? I don't know, man. I'm probably gonna stay in this classroom forever. I guess this is actually just the game, though, because it doesn't seem to have a lot of, like, scenes or whatever. And not a lot of, like, interactiveness, but yeah. I'm not a writer. Maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I did put an effort. We all start somewhere. If you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. Painful to think about? Dude, I'm just dragging her ass. Holy shit. Fine. Well, sorry. You'll get better anyway. I'd tell you what to improve, but you're better off just trying again. Fair enough. Well, each to each their own, I guess. <laughs> yeah, this character, I think she's meant to be hated, probably. Anyway, I guess I gotta share mine now. Knowing you, you'll probably think it's stupid. 
<laughs> I love the music. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. But that's about it. I like the people can fly. That's pretty cute. But like, there's one rhyme in there, so she's getting like minus points on just one rhyme. Yeah. I told you they were gonna like this. I like it. It's lion, but okay. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well Okay, this poem is good. <laughs> is this your favorite character now then? Because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. What the fuck was her message? That people are trying? Trying what? What do you mean? Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem, seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the word play. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it all fall flat on purpose. What? Why? Sis, you gotta come through with the rhymes. We're going for Ma Maya Angelou. We're going for Nicki Minaj. We're going for Eminem. Come on. Buster Rhymes. It helps bring up the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Oh god, she's annoying. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? I guess not. Decide to humor her with that last comment. That's nice, I guess. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. I'm a really nice guy. I mean, you know? Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. Yeah, it is my first way through. Hi, Moroi. How are you? That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if some everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. Okay, do I get to read my own? I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Atsuki. They gingerly... What does that mean? Gingerly? Like happily? Maybe? Exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Oh, they're not gonna like each other. Like their poems or whatever. Right? Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? I hope you're enjoying this cute, normal, not scary anime dating sim. That's what people keep telling me, but it seems so normal. Like when they brought up the tea, I was like, yeah, they that they they poisoned that shit. I'm dying. I'm dying right here. But like nothing's happening. There's really nothing happening. What do you mean? What does everyone mean? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Oh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute! Not the poison tea. Well, it wasn't poisoned. It, I'm, I'm fine. Also, I, they did transform me into a man, so now I have a pee pee instead of what I have now, but you know, still. It's my dream come true. Did you completely miss this, my symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. I did not get that, but okay. How can that be cute? I, I know that. 
I just meant the language, I guess. Wasn't her about breakfast? I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with God, she's fucking annoying. Do I get to kill them? Is that what's gonna be dark? You mean you have to try so hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out as nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. If these girls are straight, I'm the Easter Bunny. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what? Dude, that fucking comment. I'm more confused than a cat at a laser show. What? <laughs> Hiya, Curium. Thought your worries was about breakfast? Oh yeah, okay. So, I gotta get these two straight because the short ones are making me like confused because I think they're the same person, but they're not. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. So you already liked it. And cat a hot- well, I didn't. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestion of my own. You'll see. It's not exactly a spoiler, but there's plenty of subtext. So I gotta read between the lines over here? Is that what you're telling me? First of all... Excuse me? I pray for eternal suffering to Natsuki. Evan, I'm right there with you. We can pray together. We can uh, go to church together and do this. I'm so down. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. Both of these are annoying in their own fucking ways. I'm I'm all for fucking Monica. Monica's my bae. She's my wifey. I'm wifing her the fuck up. I don't expect it to change anytime soon unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Like me. I think you mean go to a cult. No wait, is this game about a cult? Which I haven't yet. Mmm. And Cataholic liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Uh oh. Is she gonna kill her? The music stopped. Is she gonna kill her? <gasps> Is it the dark turn we're, we've been waiting for? Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh. I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Okay, maybe not killing. The music's back. Eh? That's not what I... Uh, you... You're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous the Cataholic appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. No, we mean create a cult? I could, I could do that. I guess the Discord's already kind of a cult in a weird way. Actually, what, what what's changed between, like, what's the differences between a cult and a community? Let me know. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are they gonna fight? Fight, 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 fight. Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Uh, um, is everyone okay? Actually, I kind of like her now. <laughs> Just popping in to say, hey, what's good? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Cataholic started showing up. Natsuki? Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! I don't like fighting, guys. Mom and Dad are fighting again. <laughs> Suddenly, both girls turn to- <gasps> Do I get to pick? Suddenly, both girls turn towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. The difference is whether you've consented to being tied up. I'm not sure if that's the actual definition on, like, Google, but, okay. A 
cult has a devotion towards a specific object or person while a community is a group of people who share friendship about something. Then what about like YouTubers? Because YouTubers kind of have that devotion as well to a person. Right? Basically, cult, community, same thing. Therefore, I already have one. Because I have a Discord. And that's like, we got 100 people in that. There's 100 people in that. Therefore, I have a cult with 100 people in it. Bada bing, bada boom. Easy. I wonder if we could do anything with that. I'll figure something out. Maybe we could do it for like, day 100. I'm in a Natsuki hating cults. <laughs> I love that. Cataholic. She, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not, that's not true. So I'm guessing we're hating her more than we hate her, so we're gonna pick her side. Realizer, the bite model is a good indicator. What does bite stand for? Or is that just biting people? In cults, you have to bite people. <laughs> she started, she started it. If she can get over herself and learn to appreciate the simple wording is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. I'm starting to like the ones with the the one with the breakfast one, honestly. Like that's Can I get hers instead? What's the point of making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the readers, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her cataholic. Wait. There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and the meanings the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessary limiting, limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Cataholic? Um... Well... How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. But whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. <gasps> I love this option, though. That's kind of fun. Um... I'm honestly starting to think they're both annoying. Uh... Ooh. I'm so torn. Okay, fine. We'll do Yuri. Just because... I feel like if... Monica is not dateable, then I want to date Yuri. But, if Monica is dateable, then I want to date. Save the game? Why? Now? Before? Okay, saved. Wait, why is there so many empty s Excuse me? Why do I need this many save slots? <laughs> what? Okay, we'll do Yuri. I'm glad I saved. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Wait. Okay. You're right that I like your po- Okay, wait. Okay, I'm just- uh, You're like- See? Wait. That's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's- Okay, I thought- I thought that you meant like save before here. So that, you know, sh I wouldn't pick the other one. Thank you, Akirium, though. That's good. It's for things that cults try to control. Body information thinking and exit. How do I do that? Teach me. Maybe I'll just watch that Netflix show or something. How to be a cult leader or something. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. That's not what happened at all. Yuri wouldn't even take my poem seriously. Mm, I understand. Yuri? Eh. You're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. Well, that's... But here's the thing. No matter how simple or... Wait, I didn't even pick anyone? Are you kidding me? How to be a dictator? Is it a dictator? I thought it was a cult leader. 
Isn't that a documentary? No, I think you're thinking about the actual dictator movie. It's crazy that that actually exists. I was watching it with my cousin and we were both like, how did this ever get made? Like, it's crazy. <laughs> the kind of jokes that are written in that, insane. I mean, it's kind of funny, but you know, still. Okay, you're not, okay, fair. Depends on what you mean by dateable. Like, can I date Monica? Is she like an option? Because before she wasn't an option, and then I could sh I could have sh I could show her um, my poem first, but I don't know if that makes a difference. I couldn't like write my poem towards her. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it, and it becomes something really personal. That's why Nazuki felt threatened when you said her poems was cute. I see. I didn't notice that I... I'm sorry. <laughs> but Natsuki, you took it way too far. Yuri means well, and if you just told her how you felt, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Yeah, get fucked, bitch. Oh, wait. How to become a tyrant, and how to become a cult leader. I'm watching both and figuring it out. Maybe we could do it for the 100 days, you know? Just how we're making a cult today. You know? <laughs> Day 100 of streaming. Making a cult. <laughs> Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did. It was her that... Natsuki, I think that's enough. You both said some things that you don't really mean. You apologize, don't you think you should too? Mm. Natsuki clenches her fists. In the end, nobody has taken her side. She's trapped at this point being defiant only because she can't handle the pressure. Depends on what you mean by option. What does that even mean? It's a dating game. Can I date her in the dating game? Like, <laughs> what am I supposed to mean? I think the throwing hands have already happened, unfortunately. No one got killed. I'm thinking that's gonna happen later though. It has to, right? Something has to go crazy. So I'm guessing people are gonna die. I end up feeling bad for her? No. Um, sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to take a walk and clear my head. So yeah, she doesn't need to. You know what? I'm gonna do that. Don't spare me from having to look at your faces right now. With that warning, Natsuki sh snatches her own poem up from the desk and storms out. Thank fuck. Now they need to throw lips. Ooh. <laughs> Just push them together. <laughs> Imagine. Now go. <laughs> On her way out, she crumples up the poem with her hands and throws in the trash. Well, it was pretty bad, so honestly. You know, go back to the bench. Natsuki. She really didn't need to do that. I look across the room. Yuri has her chin buried in her hands while she stares down at her desk. I gingerly approach her and- I don't know what gingerly means. Like, slowly? Gently? And sit in an adjacent chair, just like last time. <sighs> Everything alright? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. No, Yuri! How could anyone not have gotten frustrated after being treated like that? You handled it as well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. Well... Alright, I believe you. Thanks, Cataholic. You're too kind. I'm thankful to have you a part of this club now. Have you as... Have you as a part of this club now, she means, right? Gingerly in a careful manner. Oh, okay, so it is kind of- okay, that makes sense, I guess. I just- I've never heard that. Uh, it's nothing. One more thing. Um, that one thing that Natsuki said about, you know, I would never do anything so shameful. So, um, 
What thing did Natsuki say? Oh, look at her. She's so scared. Um, well, never mind that. I'm going to go make some tea. This bitch is tea, honestly. Get over it. Ah, uh, good idea. Make enough for more than one person, okay? Did she just make it for herself last time? What the fuck? <gasps> My favorite. Look at her. Beautiful. With the green eyes. Ooh. Making me blush over here. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. Is that right? Well, mostly. Cataholic, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learned something from your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better. Is something gonna happen soon? Because I am going crazy over here, trying to figure this out. I think to myself, I did learn a little bit more about the kinds of poems that everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. Monica! I nod to myself with no newfound determination. Catholic! Ready to walk home! Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. It truly has been oh it truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it neither. But seriously, four girls having tea and cupcakes while writing poetry to share with each other and sharing a closet if that is in the lesbian commune, I don't know what is. <laughs> Wow, so we can't just have the girlies being girlies with each other and being friends? Damn. Sayori, so about what happened earlier. Uh, oh, what do you mean? You know, between you and Natsuki? Does that kind of thing happen often? Because I might want to leave. No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't, you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they make good friends with you. Yeah. You know, Cataholic. It's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club, but I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. I like her. She, she's like a good friend. She's like, you know, she cares about me. She, you know, wants me to get a job and, you know, have stuff to do. That's really nice. And I think everyone really likes you too. That's. <laughs> Every day is gonna be so much fun. <sighs> it looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but I wanna frick everyone. Does it really need to stop there? Exactly. We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. Okay, Edmund, are you gonna start hating on this bitch now? Because she's actually nice. Don't hate on her just because she likes someone else. <laughs> or are you more of like, the enemy of my enemy is a friend and the friend of a friend is an enemy? No, the enemy- the friend of an enemy is an enemy. So that makes... Nope, I've confused myself. Never mind. I said that more- to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal, internal monologue sometimes. Okay, fourth wall. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. You know who is a terrible person? Monica? Is Monica bad? See, why can I not write Monica? The... Ah. If I do one that's Monica, what the fuck does Monica like? Like, she's not that deep, but she's also not that not deep. She's like in between. The main character? Oh, who's the main character in this? Is that me?
Her opinion is just wrong. I'm not hating on her. Oh. I thought you hated on everyone. Everything. She likes squid? There's not squid here. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, let's get through these. Fear is definitely purple, bitch. Charm. I'm gonna go... Like, Monica's very charming. Heaven Scent. Doesn't that really depend on who I like? Anime is the girl who likes manga. So one of those. Her hair looks like a squid. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, right, right, got it, got it. Destiny is her because she's dark. Bliss is one of those because they're always happy. Kitty, one of those. Landscape might be her. Ambient, sunsets those. Ambient might be her. Anime, I'm gonna go with Charm and hope that's Monica. Nope, okay. Fine, there's no Monica. Then we'll just go with this bitch again. Wait, maybe I can get Sayori, cause like, she's okay, I kinda like her, she seems nice, sweet. Okay, let's do equal. I've done two, two for her, so let's do, okay, three for her, I guess. Um, existence. Yeah, she likes big words, essence. So that's two for her, three for her. Uh, determination. Three, three. Okay, cool. Universe, yep. And then do her... Uh, friends? Cool. And then one for her, which is... Infallible? Yeah, big words. Then comfort... I want to say comfort. Comfort? Cool. Okay. Anything friendly. The protagonist in this is at his best a super dick to Sayori. Okay, cool. Wait, fuck, now I got... I just did her, right? So I have to do her her now. Um, defeat? I guess I have to do her twice now? M Melody. Mmm, I don't know. Judgment? No, she's scared of getting judged. I don't want to say dark, but dark? Shit! Melancholy. That's her. I knew I knew that. Antagonizing, bouncy, ocean, hurt. Wrath? Wrath is... Okay, cool. Vivacious? That seems like a... Maybe vertigo? Okay. Yuri likes adult words. <laughs> okay, intellectual. And then let's do her again. Clouds? No, 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 not her, not her. Not her, please. Uh, f awesome. Cool. She's just friendly, she's everything cutesy, and she's everything dark. Who was Doki again? What does Doki mean? Uh, cheer? And then let's do her philosophy. I think we, I don't know if we did it exactly equal, but still. Another day passes, and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past few couple days. It's just been two days. What do you mean? Entering my club room, the usual scene greets me. Hi, Catholic. You, Siori. Looks like you're in a good mood today. Doki in Japanese culture is the sound your heart makes when it skips a beat. Oh, that's adorable. I love that. That's so cute. It's like that word for, um, there's one word that means the, the warmth of sun in winter, which is so beautiful, I think. Especially for, you know, Swedes, because one thing you'll know about Swedes, if there's a human being that's just staring up into the sun, like, praying almost to it, that's a Swedish person. It's crazy. We, I don't know why we do it, but we do it. It's like, wow. An onomatopoeia? Cool. <laughs> 
I'm just still not used to you being in the club, that's all. I see. That's a, that's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. But I guess it's always been the simple things with you anyways. Am I calling her simple? Because that's mean. There is no sun in Sweden, that's why. I get, uh, yeah, that makes sense. But it's, I do it too. It's crazy. But I love it. I love it so much. Speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. What was it, breakfast? Will you come with me to buy a snack? Ooh, okay. I want to just be friends with her. I, I know that, like, I'm so leading her on, and I'm sorry about that, but, like, I like her. I like her more than I liked her in the beginning. Yeah, you're right, Krilla. No thanks. Wait, what? Eh? That's not like you at all. I have my reasons? Oh, okay. Am I like being jokey or like... Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayuri? Eh? Why that all of a sudden? No reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. Huh? Sayuri nervously retrieves her coin purse. Is she like poor or something? Like, what? what's... <laughs> Why am I bullying her? <laughs> like, no, I'm not getting a snack with you. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets it content spill onto the desk. Only two small coins fall out. I love that. Relatability. I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. <laughs> Is she trying to get me to buy her snacks? Because I love that. Ah, Sweden. No, I'm not actually from Sweden. I'm from Ikea. Um, it's a bit more to like the, the, this, um, it's not really east, west, south, or north, it's more like up, you know, like more cloudy. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. So either you're not hungry and want an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I would lend you some. Dude, I could buy you snacks. What do you mean? But I'll be nice. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. <laughs> Okay, now I like her more. She's more relatable. I love her. Perkele. What does that mean? I mean, I know what perkele means, but the rest. And so that only leaves the one option. Um. Ooh, ah. I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilt, if you feel guilty, that means you deserve. Dude, I'm being harsh. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I told you he's a dick. Like me as a person. Yeah. Can't believe me. How how could I do this? Yuri suddenly giggles. Eh? I didn't notice she was she was listening in. Her face is in her book as always. Ah, I wasn't listening or anything. I was just something in my book. Yuri! These, these are my bitches. My main bitches. And I say that in like a good good way. Good terms. We're on good terms. Because, you know, I can call someone a bitch. Like, my bitches. That's different from calling them a bitch. You know? Just so we're on the same same page here. Tell Catalog to let me borrow some money. That's... Don't get me involved like that, Sayori. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. Yeah. You should. That's a great fucking point. I think if you can afford something twice, then you should buy it, basically. Like, if, if it's something really big and you're like, oh shit, should I really get this? Can you, can you afford it twice? Then don't, you know, then get it. If you can't, don't get it. Because if you can't, that shit will hold power over you. So if it breaks, you'll be like, oh shit. But if it, you know, yeah, you get it, I think. Anyways, back to this. 
And frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stun like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. Ah, did I just... I didn't mean that. I got too absorbed into my book. But I can afford to gamble twice. That's really not what I mean. <laughs> and I meant more like big purchases. Is that why nobody in our generation owns a house? Yep, exactly. Because no one can afford it twice. And nobody can afford it once, so uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm hoping to just uh, get one. I don't buy who, but um, just, just free. Maybe just, um, it pops up. You know, someone's like, hey, do you want a house? And I'll be like, yeah, thank you. And that'll be that, you know? That would be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> I really like it when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. See, she's so supportive of everyone. I love that. She's nice. She's actually nice. That's... There's no way you could think that. You were right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution. Retribution. That. Still, coming from you, Sayori. I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? Don't like that. Also, don't look at me like that. Eh <laughs> Don't, don't let it fool you. For the low cost of a guillotine. <laughs> oh my god. I actually fucking love guillotines. I'm terrified of them, but they're so cool. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to a club before she even told me. Okay, basically, I gotta go through them here, right? So she is manipulative. She is very dark. Like, scary dark, I'm guessing. Because that's what's been hinted at me previously. Which means big fucking red flags everywhere. Now Monica has no red flags. I don't think. Maybe I'm just blind towards her red flags because I'm so in love. But the other one gets really mad really quickly and it's really like shameful and like blah 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 and annoying. So that's a red flag. Which means Monica's the only one you could actually get. Right? So I'm guessing we're gonna get her in the end. You wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. So I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come on, give me a little more credit than that, Sayori. <laughs> Did I just slap her? Oh, okay, it wasn't me. <laughs> I was gonna say. I don't know where someone smacks the ore in the face and tumbles onto the desk. Ow. What was... Eh? A cookie? <laughs> Did she... <laughs> Did someone just slap her with a cookie? <laughs> sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. So you already glasses us around. Is this a miracle? It's because I paid my restitution. Retribution. Actually, that one almost worked. Yes, I'm still playing this. How long is this game? <laughs> I was just gonna give it to you. But then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction though. <laughs> Natsuki. That's so nice of you. I did her voice wrong. I'm so happy. So he hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. That's what she said. So Yuri rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. So good. I think it's like four hours. When did we start this again? Does anyone know? We might actually catch this up, like, we've been going for three hours. I googled it. It's around four hours long. Does anyone know what percentage, like, we have left in that case? Yeah, let's overwrite this one. For stream, definitely longer. Yeah, I was gonna say. We might actually catch it up tomorrow, if that's... Gucci because we've been going for three hours and I think 
first hour was definitely on the other game that we were playing. Even though that wasn't too long. Um, does, has anyone played this before? Do, do, does anyone know like... The first game was 30 minutes or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Because we're already up at 3 hours. I don't want to... Like, I don't want to go... If it's like... 2 or 3 more hours. I'm close to 1 third. Yeah, then... I'd probably have to do that another stream then. Because I'm not going for like 5 hours today. I can't. Unfortunately. Maybe something like that. Okay. Okay, well, we'll have to continue tomorrow then. I'm sorry about that, but I really don't have much of a choice, unfortunately. Um, I'm very sorry about that, actually. Now I feel really bad. Let me try... Wait, give me a second. Oh, Lady Moray, thank you. You should get Mr. Loudmouth to do the voiceover next time. <laughs> Why, was my voiceover not good enough? Okay, so this is saved right here. Wait, you can do vote? No, not yet. I'm gonna set it up. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. But um, we're gonna be setting that up next time. Uh, but I guess like probably it's just gonna give you a link to the actual vote. Which, obviously, is gonna come up next. I, like, when we finish this, we're gonna have a new poll out. This is obviously this one. Which, as you can see, Doki Doki won. Um, but yeah. So, after the stream, next one is gonna come up. Obviously, we will finish Doki Doki tomorrow. And then we will see... It's one of my favorite games to see streamed. Really? That makes me curious. I'm not gonna look at any spoilers or anything. And, um, you know, if you want to talk about it in the Discord, please have it not, uh, please have it be, like, not spoiled or whatever. <laughs> so, yeah. But, um, yeah. This is probably gonna be it for tonight. I'm very sorry about that, but I cannot do it any further, unfortunately. Holy shit. 40 to 50? God, you're obsessed with this game. What is it about this game? Well, I guess I'll figure it out later, but you know. But yeah, this has been day 80 of streaming every single day for a year. And finally, fi I know, I know everyone's missed it. I know. God. I know you've missed me. What can I say? <laughs> but, um... I'm back, and I'm gonna be back now for a long fucking time. I have no family that are gonna sleep in my couch in any, like, part of the future. So that's amazing. And there will be so many streams coming up, and... I mean, considering that we're already at 80, Day 100 is coming up. I'm gonna try and sort something... I don't know what I've said... Like, I've created so many goals that I said, like, oh, we'll do this and this and this and that. But I always f tend to forget them. So, I don't know. If y'all want something special, let me know. And we'll do it for day 100. Otherwise, I'll try and figure something. Good timing. Duo just got home, so it's time to grind. Oh, dope. <laughs> the KFC dating sim was epic. True, I got the shittiest ending you ever could get, so I'm excited to get the shittiest ending I can get in this. Very, very excited. But, um, I mean, yeah. This will be up in, like, a few minutes, so don't forget to vote. Because that will be going up next Friday. Um, but yeah, if you haven't already, 
day 100 do scribble or something with chat? That could be fun. That's actually not a bad idea. I was thinking something similar, but with, um, uh, I want to show you just because this game, wait, this game, uh, so people could tell me what to create if people actually like this game where you basically combine, like, if you combine rainbow and bacon, it becomes a unicorn. If we combine operation and Ronald McDonald, we make McOperation, you know, you get it. <laughs> well, they're fun sites. <laughs> Just what an amazing name! Thank you, thank you. I made it myself. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah. Honestly, if you have any ideas for day one hundred, let me know. Do I have your vod on that up? Vod of that up. Um. Wait, which one? Which game? I mean, all of my VODs are up on the channel, the VOD channel. I don't know if I have that linked, actually, but it's just Cat on Cat's... Cat on Cat VODs, I believe. Or something like that. So all of them are up. Um, hat to... Hat to fool? What the fuck is Hat to fool? On the KFC dating sim? Yes, that is up. That is up currently, yes. Yeah. Um, let's see if we can actually cat on cat. Oh, Kit Kat. Oh, that's nice. Um, what did I name it? Dating Sim PFC. No. Okay, not even close. But I'll, um, I can link it in the Discord, probably. I can look it in the links and searches after this. Um, but yeah, don't forget to follow if you haven't already. This was honestly such a fun stream. Like, I didn't check the poll until I actually started streaming. So I was very confused to see that those had the most votes. Like, Garden of Ban Ban and Doki Doki. You didn't quit the game because I could question you, right? No. We've gone three hours already. You know, three hours is my minimum. You know that, silly. But yeah, if you haven't already, join the Discord. Um, that's literally where everything happens. The the polls, the... Uh, we have a lot of music. If you haven't already, go listen to Boat's music. It's amazing. Um, what else is there to say? Like, literally everything happens in the Discord, so just join it already. My socials are down in the description. If anyone needs them, wants them, or just wants to harass me, go the go ahead. Um, and thanks for all the follows today. It's been really fun. I've honestly had a lot of fun. So yeah, I enjoy, I, I enjoy this. And I don't know why, but we're slowly becoming a dating simulator content creator, which I don't know how I feel about, but yeah. Please don't make me play a dating game for day 100. <laughs> Did I check out the vid? Because don't. Oh, should we do that? No, I might do that. Give me a second. Is it in music? Wait, where did you post it? Oh! <gasps> You actually did post it. Let me pause this. We gotta do it. Okay. Let's get this out of here. I love this. Wait, did you make this like background thing your yourself? It looks like one of those CS maps, honestly. I like it. You know I already like it. I feel like you've added more kicks to it since last time, but I'm not sure. I fuck with it so hard. It's 
Sounds like something in a spy movie. Yeah, I said uh, spooky Scooby Doo. Because to me, it's just spooky Scooby Doo. <laughs> but I love it. Both really talented. If you haven't checked them out, do so. I will also link the. Um, the dating sim thing. I think that should... See? There it is. Crazy. But yeah, this song is pretty good. <laughs> I like how you hit it. Just because. Ooh, yes. I want Edmund on this. Spit bars about balls. Fucking <laughs> hell. The song isn't meant to be good. What's it meant to do? I like it. Also, can we transfer the, the hydrations to tomorrow's stream? Please. But yeah, go ahead and check out Boat, which is... Wait, did... I'm gonna subscribe to you right now. It's Bo Eric on YouTube. Amazing. Go check him out. Cause amazing. Look at that, beautiful. Wait, unlisted? What do you mean unlisted? Why is it unlisted? Is this a test? Dude, you're gonna get rich off that. I'm gonna promote you so hard. She's not subscribed, fake fan. I just did it, what do you mean? I literally just did it. Look, I'm subscribed. You know, I'll do bells, all the bells. I'll put on bells. <laughs> all right, well, wait, what's this? Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's probably it. Yeah. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. But yeah, the new poll is going to be up any minute after the stream. So let me know what you want to see, I guess. And if there's any game that isn't here, just let me know and I'll add it. Uh, depending on like if it's a triple A, like 60, 60, it, I might have to like Give it a give it a rest for a bit, but if it's just a normal game, then you know, I'll definitely pay for it. But yeah, that's gonna be it for tonight. I hope you all have a great rest of your night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite unless you want them to. And but just upload them. Just please upload them. Put some cozy shit in the background. Put some nice visuals and then bada bing bada boom. Easy, easy. Just do, you, you definitely got this, bro. I believe in you. But yeah, that's gonna be it for tonight. I hope you all sleep good or, you know, have dreams. Nice dreams or whatever you want. Bad dreams, good dreams. I'm gonna probably dream about that fucking flamingo, unfortunately. So that's gonna be great. Or maybe Monica, you know, cause um, obviously Monica. But I will see you tomorrow, as soon as tomorrow. However, shit, I almost forgot. So tomorrow is actually Earth Hour. But Earth Hour starts at 20, wait, it's 30 minutes past eight. So everyone join me in doing that and then the stream will be a little later than usual because of that because I want to celebrate Earth Day or Earth Hour um, which means no computers which means you shouldn't either so yeah don't do that and I'll see you a bit later tomorrow and until then as always bye bye